the back of the session. All right, everybody have a seat. Jurors, I understand you reached a verdict, is that correct? And I believe I see Mr. Schroeder with the verdict form. All right, in a second, I'd ask you to pass it to Deputy Dunkley. To everybody who's present in the courtroom, I know that this is a very difficult time for everybody. Every single person that's been in this courtroom. Some of you have been here every single minute of this trial. I know this is the most intense moment of, of everybody's life that's here that has an interest in this case. But I'm asking and following it up with I'm ordering. Whatever the verdict is, I don't know what it is. It's just been handed to me in a folded fashion. Whatever the verdict is, I don't want to hear a sound from anybody. Why? These 12 people over here are just doing a job for us. That's it. So please, please, please don't put me in that spot. go down row by row, uh, you are considered juror one, and then we'll go down the row and then call you by numbers. Juror number one, with the verdicts is regular verdicts? Yes. Juror number two, with the verdicts is regular verdicts? Yes. Juror number three, with the verdicts is regular verdicts? Yes. Juror number four, with the verdicts is regular verdicts? Yes. Juror number five, with the verdicts is regular verdicts? Yes. Juror number six, 
six for the brakes to bring your brakes. Turn number seven for the brakes to bring your brakes. Turn number eight for the brakes to bring your brakes. Turn number nine for the brakes to bring your brakes. Turn number ten for the brakes to bring your brakes. Turn number eleven for the brakes to bring your brakes. Turn number twelve for the brakes to bring your brakes. Thank you very much, sir. Now, jurors. Uh, so right now, based on your verdict, all that time we spent in jury selection is now in play. So we have to arrange for you to come back to consider the phase two, the penalty phase evidence. Now what I'm gonna ask you to do, I know you've been in that jury room for a long time, but I'm gonna ask you all to step into the jury room while I discuss the schedule with the attorneys. Now, I believe, and we're gonna talk about it in a second, I believe we're gonna do it next week. All of you were expecting to be with us through the 28th. And we're well within that, but that is my thought process. I'm gonna to talk to the lawyers and then I'll bring you out. I'm gonna give you some further instructions and then I'll tell you what day we're gonna reconvene and how long it's gonna take approximately, okay? So step in with Deputy Dunkley and I'll have you out as quickly as possible. Everybody have a seat. And lawyers, if my memory serves me correctly, that you were hoping to do it Wednesday and Thursday, is that correct? And does that work for the state as well? And uh, I believe I heard from the state that you won't be presenting any substantive evidence, relying on the evidence here and the aggravator as outlined. Right. Um, right. I just have to do a little bit of research, but yes, I mean, there's nobody. So your presentation, no matter what, will be relatively brief. All right, and then over to the defense. So you think it will take both days? Okay. Uh, that's fine. And same drill, uh, 8.30. And so try to have your witnesses stacked up since we're waiting until Wednesday, if you can do that for me and really for them. Um, and then uh, before we bring them back out, I'd like you to step up both sides and take a look at the verdict form, just to make sure, I, I looked it over pretty carefully, that it's appropriately filled out um, technically. State based on the verdict. <clears throat> All right, so both sides have looked at it and that it's technically filled out correctly, signed and dated. The other question is, um, I assume by the nature of the verdict that we won't have to discuss the defendant's charge of a felon in possession of a, a, a fire, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Um, we'll talk about it, but all right, just because I just want to um, take care of them. So let's be ready to talk about it. I suspect in the grand scheme of things, now that's become somewhat irrelevant. So Wednesday, Thursday. Anything else I need to discuss other than to give them the same admonition to not talk about the case, research Google, anything like that? Yeah, I think it's particularly important. Absolutely. Of course. I'm going to emphasize it vigorously. And then, uh, Ms. Driscoll, are you in the courtroom? No. Oh, you are. Make sure we call the two alternate jurors and that they need to be here Wednesday morning at 8.15. All right, don't forget. That's important. All right. Then I think we've covered all our bases. If you'd bring the jury back in, please. Let me talk to the lawyers about that. Okay, jurors, so here's the plan. Um, we will hold on to your pads and your jury instructions, lock them up, Deputy Dunkley. 
and we'll keep them. Nobody looks at them, but they're there for you to refer back to now in the phase two part of the trial, which will begin Wednesday morning. It's going to be, take Wednesday, Thursday. And then I believe your jury service will be fully completed. So Wednesday, 8.15, same drill. You get uh, off uh, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and you'll come back and be with us on Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to lean on the lawyers uh, to let's be as efficient as possible, but we think two days is the appropriate amount of time, and obviously it's a very weighty decision. So we're going to treat it the same way we've treated this trial the entire time. Now, this is very, very important. It's become even more important now. When I release you, don't discuss the case with anybody. i got a feeling that's a difficult task sometimes when you go home now. Please, please, please do not talk about the case in any way, shape, or form with anyone. And it's very, very important. I don't think it's uh, a mystery to you. There's been cameras in the courtroom the entire time. Do not watch anything. Do not read anything. Do not listen to anything. We're counting on you. We count on you. Please don't let me down. Does anybody have any questions about the process, the, the scheduling, anything, then everybody's got their personal belongings, their cell phones off their chairs, and you've got everything, you'll take care of it, Deputy Dunkley, we'll escort you out the back, I'll see you Wednesday, if there's any issue, I'll call you Wednesday, 8.15 at the doors, and thank you very much. Deputy Dunkley, make sure all my evidence is right where it belongs, please. You want it back, correct? We should put it back here. And you want it sealed in the jury room? Yes, I'll pull it You're going to go take it from the jury room. Okay. So the clerk is going to go, you may have a seat. The clerk's going to go in and collect all the evidence. Uh, nobody will go in there, and then it will be back in custody at the clerk's office. Here's what I'd like you to do, though. It's important that you t both sides talk about the jury instructions that are necessary and the, the necessary verdict forms, et cetera. Um, I think there's some nuances there that are kind of um, unique based on the three victims. So I want you all to make a run at it, and then I'll make myself available when you contact Ms. Driscoll. I'll make myself available Monday or Tuesday or even tomorrow if there's disagreements. But I'd like a packet so we're not copying packets on Wednesday or Thursday, if you could do that for me. Anything else we need to discuss state? Defense. And, and I'll hold off on adjudicating and doing any of that. He remains held, no bond, et cetera. And we'll take up the rest of that when the appropriate time comes. Thank you for your cooperation.